So, I was not recording this entire time. Shame on me. Um, I'm going to do a time lapse of everything that I've just been doing. Um, and now I'm going to do a little bit of a rewind of everything that I just went through. There's just like this whole mental epiphany and a bunch of stuff where I looked at a bunch of old pre-order stuff. Like there's this whole screen that I'm working on. And I'm going to explain it in a second. So a lot of stuff here that I looked at and I decided just did not make sense. And a lot of it is for various reasons. But mostly, you can see how much stuff I deleted. I'm going to go into details why real quick. Because, screw me. All of this got deleted. Basically, all right, what is this thing that I'm working on? This is a page. Oh my god, this is so annoying that I didn't record this. Because it's been a real mental journey getting back to this whole thing. Whew. Okay. This screen is designed to help you manage your pre-orders in, in general, just make that whole process a little bit easier, like managing your pre-order catalog. Um, right now in Hot West Commerce, there's a few different screens that you can jump through to get this information, but there's no great like one concise place to see an end-to-end -end picture of what's going on with your product. So this is, we're aiming to make this that where in the pre-order app, you can go and take a look at your catalog and see what's up and maybe do some management, management, but at least see some critical information. The screen was made a long time ago, maybe back in like January, so seven months ago. And since then, the pre-order workflow has changed quite a bit. And the screen, it's not, it hasn't even been developed yet, but we need to update the design to make sure when we do design this, it all makes sense. Uh, okay, so. What's going on here is there's a few different categories that you can split your products by. Uh, Pre-order, back order, which is where the catalog for pre-orders is maintained. And then never pre-order, never back order, which is a custom category that you maintain to make sure certain products never go on pre-order or back order. Um, this is just a simple list thing that we have where you have like bulk information and bulk selectors up top and you have item ways detail down here. This can just, we can get rid of this. And there's just some lazy overflow buttons right here to manage general UI stuff. This is where you manage jobs for if you want your pre-order catalog to be maintained through a job like through purchase orders or if you want to just let it flow manually. And same thing right here. Um, I'm not really sure what this is. I actually don't remember what this is. In, in the 18 minutes of recording that I lost, this was not handled in that. I just could not remember. So it's there, but I might get rid of it soon enough. What I've gotten to right now is that I need to make a new page to um, give you, the user details about what's going on right here on this page. So to do that, first and, first, first and foremost, let's copy this over. Let's get to business. So first of all, let's line this up. Uh, product detail page for now. I'm sure this is already taken product details, but we'll get to that later. So in this case, we can get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this. And I might use these later, but we'll see. Product pre-order details or Pre-order. Oh, let's just go with product details for now. I'm sure that's what this page is called too. Yeah, screw me. But we'll deal with it. And slot start. Let's do a back button. Really handy to not have to keep uh, keep switching icons. You can just enable the back button from right here. So on this page, what I need is some critical product details. So what I might do is just copy this over right here. and paste this down here. Let's move this down a little bit and boom. So we've got this ready to go. Um, let's do some information up here about what category it's in. Like basically on this page, we need to see, 
going to move down a little bit, but on the detail page, we need to see the category, PO items, plus active PO. Um, maybe link to pre-order page. Link to pre-orders. Something like that. Okay. Um, so... For now, I'm just going to move this off to the side because I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to use this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Commerce Hub. And I'm going to get uh, the PO structure right here. Yeah, perfect. Uh, Pre-order management. And on this page, what I think I need is basically this. That's why I'm going to go ahead and try and use this. Come on. Here we go. Okay, so I at least need PO details like this, so I'm going to leave this here. Um, I'm going to want some way to mark the active PO item. So for now, I'm going to say that there's going to be uh, I'm going to say I don't need the bulk editor. I'm going to replace this with a badge. These are the alpha decisions that people need to make in UI. No user testing, just do. Um, active PO. And this is going to be in some kind of warning color. I think usually when this happens, the text is black. So, the next thing that's always needed is why is my PO not being used? That's always a question that users have, so let's just have an inactive section where you can see all of your inactive items and you can just always know what the hell is going on. I'm not gonna want any of this right here. Let's just say this is just not here. I'm not gonna deal with that. I'm gonna want to have selected variant. And this is going to be hug content. Boom, there we go. Inactive PO, and this is going to be in gray. Medium, there we go. And we're going to want to somehow convey why it's inactive. Um, I'm going to say that there should be some way to convey that, like, for example, this is the reason. So we'd want to, like, make this, like, danger or something. And this would be, like, zero. Or similarly, if the arrival date had passed, we would do this in danger. Danger zone! My camera's running low on battery. I'm going to see how long it goes without me worrying about it. But, okay, what do we have next? Mm, yeah, so, any reasons why it would be inactive, we would want to highlight that. For example, if the status at some point had been moved to not active anymore. So, for example... Item completed or order completed. So we can probably put some kind of information right here, which is probably the lazy way to go, but this is how we're going to do it. Item completed. And this is going to be danger. So these are all the different ways that you could possibly have this whole situation uh, be inactive. I'm not going to worry about the lines for now. We'll get the border dealt with later. Or maybe I'll do it right now because I can't stop looking at it. So 
This should be all spaced to zero. Uh, distribute vertically. I could probably take this section to show some inventory levels. So I'm going to go with that. Do usually what we have is ATP. Well, before I do too much, I want to make sure I have this styled out how I want it. So I'm going to say for now, I'm not going to deal with icons. And for here, I'm going to go with proper item title. Yep, there we go. So let's see. What do we, I'm going to pull up. You guys don't get to see this, but what do we usually show as the list of things? I know we do. Excluded ATP. We do excluded facility ATP. Then we do online ATP. Excuse me, got it. So from there, let's make this a little bit distributed. Um, yeah, so for example here, let's have 50, 0, 25, and then we can have uh, 25. And potentially what we could do is make this like an accordion so we can see enlarge this, but then it kind of it becomes a problem when you want to do something here. So hmm. for now, I'm going to this is somehow we're going to indicate that this is clickable. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that right now, but at some point it's going to have to be clickable so you can see why inventory is being excluded or I might just do like brokering queues and stuff right here um god this page is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be so the next thing you want to be able to see here I should really combine these because this is really not doing anybody any favors by making these separate so I'm going to make this So, how do we convey now that this is a reason? So, we can still make this red, but it doesn't look as nice because it's not just the description of the field. But, eh, I don't know. I'll think about it some more, but for now, this is what I'm going to go with. And my camera is kind of threatening me to turn off, so I'm going to leave this here and I'll pick up maybe sometime soon and make a part two of this some point. But yeah, half of this was just gone in the air. Thank you for seeing whatever this was. And you know, let's continue this pre-order situation later on. Bye.